Hi, as we know that the bridge structures are constructed for a longer period of time, hence it becomes essential to consider the time dependent effects as they play a major role. We understand that sometimes considering the time dependent effects like creep and shrinkage can be complicated and as an engineer we want this process to be easy and efficient. So in this video we will be simulating the time dependent effects easily in a span of 5 minutes. So let's start with it. So to begin here under the properties tab we have the function to define the creep and shrinkage function. We can define the user defined functions from here like in case you are having any excel file created with the function you can directly copy paste the creep and shrinkage function over here. But now as we have the inbuilt library with the codes where the program will automatically create the function for us so I am choosing this creep and shrinkage and we click on add. Here we have the option to select the relevant code so I just select the code we give the name for a function and here we need to give the characteristic strength. We give the notional size and click on show result. So that is how we get the creep and shrinkage function so easily and the software like corresponding to each days we get the functions. We give the start loading end loading and the number of step steps and here are the function for us. So I click on apply. My function has been defined for one material. Similarly I will define another function for my deck material. So I have given that I change the loading. So I change the compressive strength function value and here we can select the relevant code. So as I mentioned that we have different codes whether it is ASTO, Eurocode or CBFIP we can select any and according to that we get the function for us. Once this is done we click on OK and click close. So here our creep and shrinkage functions has been defined. In the same line we also define the compressive strength function. So this is the feature for that. We know that the concrete gains strength over a period of time. Hence it is important that we consider that effect as well and here in Midas Civil we do have that option to consider this compressive strength function. We just need to give the mean compressive strength that is nothing but the characteristic strength plus the standard deviation. So we give those value click on redraw graph and here at the age of 29 we can see the maximum mean compressive strength reached by the function. We click on OK. Similarly I will define for my other material. Select the code give the value and here it is. So our functions has been defined as you can see these are blue in color and we just need to link this functions to our material. So for that I'll go under the material link select the functions for creep shrinkage and the compressive strength select the material with which it is linked click on add. So you can see as soon as I link my functions these are turned black in color. So again it helps in understanding which definitions are done and click on add, click close. So that is how we can define the creep and shrinkage functions easily and now we can just simply perform the analysis. Before performing the analysis here I would like to show you the composite sections as well. So here based upon the age the notional size is calculated and accordingly the creep shrinkage functions are calculated. So although we have defined the functions but based upon this age and this notional size the co program will backendly calculate the creep and shrinkage functions and that values will be used. We can update the notional size using this feature and click on perform analysis. Once the analysis is completed then we can check the results for the creep and shrinkage under the results tab. So I'll just activate my girders and we will check the results for that. We can check the deformation like this. I go under the stage 5. And here we can check the creep primary and shrinkage primary. Whatever deformation that has been apply applied by the software. can change the units from here now the deformation will be uh, seen in the primary effects like creep and shrinkage and when we check the forces that will be induced under the secondary effects so based upon the different boundary condition we will check the creep and shrinkage secondary effects so we go under the beam diagrams and here I can just see the 
creep secondary and shrinkage secondary. So these are the bending moment values for the creep secondary and similarly for the shrinkage secondary. Now another thing I would like to highlight is here we can check the element properties at each stage like we can see the compressive strength functions that has been used so the modulus of elasticity corresponding to different age and different stages we get it under this table so that is how the time dependent effects are considered and on the same line as I mentioned that we can also consider the tendon losses for the creep and shrinkage so under the tendon losses tables here the creep shrinkage losses are also present so that is how we can easily consider the time dependent effects in Midas Civil. Hope you had enjoyed this video. Thank you.